Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Talking loud. All right, Mitchell. It feels like just yesterday we were standing in this exact spot and you told me that there's no one else in this world you could love more than me. Becoming your fiance was the best day of my life and today that day seems minimal. Welcome. On behalf of Mitchell and Madeline, the Geikies, Winners, and Carpenters, welcome. We are gathered here today, surrounded by God's creation here in the Rocky Mountains. The beauty of this creation, surrounded by the sights and sounds of nature, to witness one of the most sacred moments of a lifetime, the union of Mitchell and Madeline. As many of you know, Madeline and Mitchell met in high school, and as much as I would have loved to take credit for that, it was actually my brother Austin and Mitchell's brother Garrett who got them together. Uh, Mitchell went to a dance with Austin and Garrett as part of their group, probably a homecoming or something. And I remember Austin coming home and he was like, you know what, someone, one of you two, you just, you gotta date that Mitchell kid. And my sister and I kind of looked at each other and we were like, well, which one is it gonna be? <laughs> But you know, me being the good sister, I let her have him. <laughs> and uh, no, no, seriously, they were, they were meant to be together and I'm, I'm so happy for that. Mitchell, honestly, man, you are one of the nicest, most kind-hearted, most genuine human beings I've ever met. And uh, I could not ask for a better man to take care of my sister. Um, I obviously never had a true brother, but uh, I'm proud to call you my brother tonight, man. You know, just watching you guys is something that I don't think I've ever seen before. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, ever. And um, so that I don't think there's ever been a, spe shoot. <laughs> a specific moment that I, like I said, I think I knew you guys were meant for each other. I think it's always just kind of been felt. And I don't think I'm the only one here um, that feels that way. Madeline, in your parents' driveway, we held each other and kissed for the first time. <clears throat> I will never forget that moment. Again, in your parents' driveway, I told you I loved you for the first time. I knew it wouldn't be the last. I will never forget that moment. Mitchell, I admire you for everything that you are. When I look at you, all I see is love. The kind no storybook can ever explain. I see forgiveness and joy, pride and desire. I see my entire life when I look at you. You ground me every day and constantly remind me of the playful and innocent teenage girl I was when I met you. And in the crazy lives we live, I love that person I am for you most. When I say I love you more, I mean that I love you more than our toughest day, more than our greatest day, and vow to love you more every single day we wake up next to each other. My, my first and my last love, you deserve the world, and I will do my best every day to give that to you. I promise to be your best friend, biggest fan, your high school sweetheart, and home. I promise to love you for eternity, respecting you, honoring you, being faithful to you, and sharing my life with you. There is no one I trust more with my life than you. So today, in front of everyone we love, I give you my hand, my heart, my dreams, and my life. I love you. And then we've got Madeline. When I'd come home from a business trip or the day at the office or whatever the case may be, ever since she was old enough to walk, I'd walk in the front door, she'd be the first one to greet me. And 
and she still to this day has one of the best hugs around. But her eyes would look up at me and, and she would have love and admiration in her eyes and you know she had my heart literally since she was born. And then came Mitchell. He, uh, he's been a part of our family for, for years now and, and after a little while those eyes started looking at him the same way you know that, that I, I remember those eyes. And the cool thing was he looked back at her the same way. And Mitchell, I just want to tell you, I love the way you treat my little girl. And uh, I don't think I could ask for a better son-in-law. You've been a part of the family for a while. But officially today, you're part of the family, brother. Here today in front of all of our favorite people and God, I'm gonna tell you that I love you and I promise it won't be the last. I will remember this moment forever. I will love you for who you were, who you are, and who you will always be. By the power vested in me by the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may finally kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor for the very first time to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell Witter. Up with my sister and her fiance, I stood up next to my two best friends. So, Mitchell, thank you for loving my sister the way that she deserves to be loved. Thank you for coming into our lives and being a part of our family, and thank you for making one of the potentially hardest days of my life that much easier. As you two start your new family, remember to cherish each other, never stop loving one another, and uh, always open those Amazon packages together. <laughs> Take care of her, Mitchell. I love you both endlessly. If you could all hold up a glass. Cheers to my sister and my new brother. <laughs> <laughs>